This is a day I never thought would come. Weeks ago, I placed an order for a box set from Amazon. Oh, and sorry for the shakiness. I don't have like a tripod or anything set up like I normally do for the desk style shots. And please enjoy my slippers. But a couple weeks ago, I placed an order for a box set from Amazon. It was an unbelievable deal. And it got lost in the mail. So I had to go through a little bit of stuff, try and, you know, contact them and all sorts of other stuff. Well, they were going to be sending out a replacement. So I got a notification for a replacement to be sent out. And that wasn't going to show up until March 14th. And then today, the lost one updated. It was in town. It was going to be sent today. So there's a chance I may be receiving another one of these in the mail. So let's see. It was lost all that time. Let's see if it's damaged. I really hope it's not damaged. Otherwise, hopefully that second one is still on the way. Okay, well, it looks like it's packaged well, so there's some hope. Unbelievable. So this is a box set I have been after for pretty much as long as I've been collecting vinyl. It's never, it's not really too outrageous in terms of price. It's like 150 bucks normally. Somebody posted in one of the merch groups that it was $120 on sale on Amazon. So I placed the order. Later that day, it was on sale for $104 plus a 20 some odd dollar coupon. So all in all, it was about 40 bucks less than what I had originally spent. So I canceled the original order. The original order was actually already almost to me. And uh, yeah, so I was like, oh, it's worth the 40 bucks to have to wait a little bit. And then it got lost in the mail. And I thought I would never see it. Like I said earlier, they had to make a order or claim or whatever so a replacement could be sent out and that wasn't going to be here for a month. So I just figured I wasn't going to be seeing this until mid-March. It's the first, first six LPs from Lamb of God. Ah! I will say, whatever material they used for this box, it's, it's so nice. It's, it's like soft. It's almost like like carpet or something. I'm going to talk about them a little bit out of order, but I will start off with the very first Lamb of God record, Burn the Priest. Well, I can't really say it's the first Lamb of God record. It's the Burn the Priest record before Lamb of God was called Lamb of God. Back when... They were still kind of like a like a grind band. You got Wrath, which is the newest album in this box set, and probably my least favorite Lamb of God album that might be an unpopular opinion. I, I really don't know. I don't really look to see what other people think of these kind of things. If you like Wrath, you like Wrath. I'm not saying I don't like Wrath. I'm just saying, like, as far as Lamb of God albums go, it's, you know, far from my favorite. New American Gospel. I guess you could say this was the first Lamb of God album, the first under the name Lamb of God. So this still had, I'd say this still had some elements of like Burn the Priest, but also had a new sound as well from what they were doing before. Has the classic black label on it. As the palace is burned, what a great great album this is a few times i've seen lamb of god 
anytime they play songs off this record, people just absolutely lose their shit. I mean, people are losing their shit the entire time they're on stage, but, you know, it's like a different level when they start playing some of these older songs. This record on its own usually fetches about a hundred dollars, so I mean the eighty whatever dollars I spent for this box set were well worth it just to get this record alone. Now you talk about an opening track, Walk With Me In Hell, unbelievable. There's so many great songs on this record, on really all of these albums, but, I mean, Walk With Me In Hell, you got Redneck, it's probably probably their biggest song, Descending is probably one of my all-time favorite Lamb of God songs, uh, Black and the Cursed Sun, I and mean, really the whole thing, More Time to Kill, amazing. Yeah, I think it's Sacrament here in the thank you section where Randy just talks about how he'd like to just wipe out like the entire planet. I remember reading that as a kid when I bought this on CD. CD's nuts! Here it is, my all-time favorite Lamb of God record and... Possibly one of my all-time favorite records. If I had to come up with a list of my top ten favorite albums, I, I have a pretty good feeling that this would be on it. I think this is probably one of the best metal records in the last 20 years. Just every track, all killer, no filler. Breakdown and um, Laid to Rest is probably... Like the heaviest breakdown of all time. And it's just, you know, drop D. It's just palm muted, drop D. It's not even tuned that low. Everybody always acts like, oh, you know, I need these nine string guitars and all this crazy shit to be stupid heavy. And then you got Lamb of God doing it in drop D. Unbelievable. Yeah, so that's it for the Lamb of God box set. This is probably the heaviest piece of vinyl I've ever gotten in the mail. Now, I don't mean heavy like music wise, I mean it's literally heavy, like it's heavy as fuck to hold. This is now my third box that I have, and I have a fourth that should be on the way any day. It's been delayed for quite some time because of, you know, the current state of things in the world. But yeah, that's it for the Hourglass box set. Lamb of God is probably one of the like I said about Ashes of the Wake, one of the best uh, metal bands of the last 20 years, and I, I don't even know if that's fair. I think probably they've earned their spot, probably one of the best of all time at this point. I mean, they're, they're still doing it. The self-titled they put out last year is great, and yeah, that's it.